Drive 150 miles on I-15. Yeah, that's something you never see at home. Drive 150 miles. 150? Five zero. Drive 150 miles on I-15. And that doesn't even get us all the way there. Alright, it's another road trip. Um, well, it's the same one I did uh, last Tuesday, but in reverse. I'm heading back over to LA for one day of Kenny's uh, movie marathon weekend. It's a sci-fi weekend this time, uh, with an 80s theme. So, uh, got two hours sleep last night. We, we went out last night. I just I really wasn't feeling too happy about the whole, the whole competition yesterday. Uh, it was a struggle to actually just motivate myself to go out, but we went out and uh, there was supposed to be the big night out, but everybody was wrecked, so it, it was still going when I left. I mean, some people left a bit early. Uh, I left about half one, quarter to two, something like that. I was going to try to get to bed for two, but it ended up being more like 3.20 or something. And then back up at six. No, in fact, it was more than 3.20 because I only got two and a half hours sleep. So yeah, um, it's going to be a struggle, perhaps, to stay awake through some of these movies um, later on tonight. But it'll be. I, I, I wanted to go to some of these movie marathon weekends, or one of them, for a long, long time. The, the Facebook photos look excellent. <laughs> it just they look like so much fun, and I know quite a few of the people that go to them now. So. Um, yeah, I'm just taking a day out from this trip to drive back over to LA. It's about four hours, and uh, back tomorrow morning again. So I'm missing out on Cirque du Soleil. They're all heading to Cirque du Soleil tonight uh, to Ka in the MGM. And uh, what else? Morris is coming down tonight, which is I'm really annoyed that I'm sort of leaving on a day that he's decided to arrive. But it's. Uh, He's, he's arriving this evening, I'll be back tomorrow, so he can, he can spend one evening, one, <coughs> one night in, LA, in Vegas without me. And we're upgrading to a suite tomorrow. Uh, the suites in the Monte Carlo for the uh, Monday night and Tuesday night were about the same price as the regular rooms for earlier in the stay, like the first few nights. Now uh, the regular rooms got cheaper in those nights as well, but I just figured if I was going to pay that money for a regular room for a few nights, I may as well just pay that money for a suite for the last couple of nights. So hopefully it'll have a good view of the strip. Um, I think all the suites do that are the ones that have got the spa suite. And apparently it has a, a like a spa tub thing beside the window, so you can just sit in the, the bath and look out onto the strip. The GPS has me getting there at 11:37, but I think I'm going to stop in the uh, was it uh, something? There's a 50s diner. Is it Rudy's 50s diner? That's the one I wanted to stop in on the way over. But I remember when, when we were driving this way uh, last time I was in Vegas. There was loads of every mile, there was a sign, 50 diner, 50 diner, 50 diner, so by the time you got to it, you had plenty of notice. On the way back, I think I'd passed it before, I, I was driving past it when I seen the sign for it, so hopefully I won't miss it this time, because it was it was quite nice. We were there for breakfast, and uh, then it'll be after midday, I think, before I get to Kenny's, but I think she should be kicking off around then anyway. Uh, oh, and costume, yes, I have my uh, Cobra Kai costume, the Karate Kid Cobra Kai costume, so it's, I feel I'm cheating in a way, it's the first time I've gone to a fancy dress party or anything uh, with a costume that I've just bought off the shelf, but with all the preparation I had to do for getting away to Vegas, I just didn't have time to make anything, um, I usually make my costumes, not that I've made that many or done that many costume parties, but yeah, it's the first time I've ever just gone out and bought a costume, so... Uh, we'll see how that goes down, see what everybody else is like, but I really think this is going to be a, a good day, a fun party. Alright, here we are. Um, I didn't miss the exit this time, so... 50's diner. Um, I have no idea what this is going to be like tanks on railway cars. That is. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to grab some breakfast here, or a late breakfast. It's now uh, 10 to 10. So, uh, we're at an hour 45 away from Kenny's. So I'll still make it probably shortly after midday.
going on in the background. I listen to an awful lot of country music when I'm driving here for some reason. Uh, and when I say for some reason, I just mean I never listen to it at home. But uh, Country 105 is just, I just listen to it all the time when I'm driving in LA. I don't know if there's something just about driving in California or through the desert or whatever. But uh, it just makes country music sound better. So now I stopped off at the uh, petrol station there, changed into most of my costume. I have to get a wig on, the headband and the belt and stuff, but it's, uh, it's alright. It's very shiny, very new, it doesn't look homemade at all. I'm sure a lot of the rest of the people there will be in homemade costumes. But it's, uh, yeah, like I said, about 20 minutes out, and yeah, we'll see what happens when I get there. Well, I made it up to Kenny's. Um, been having a brilliant day so far. It's a sci-fi fantasy movie marathon. I think all the, it's all 80s films, so that's why it's 80s theme. And uh, yeah, we started off with Princess Bride, and then Ghost. No, sorry, then uh, The Goonies, and we're on Ghostbusters now. But it's just so much fun watching those movies with people that love them as much as I do. It's it's a really really good party here, which is why I came like all the way over from Vegas for this just for the day. So Kenny's way to get pizza now, it's just past 6 o'clock and uh, I'm not sure if we're going to squeeze in another film after Ghostbusters but the party will go on till late and uh, yeah, it's going to be a, maybe a tired drive to Vegas uh, tomorrow morning.